Okay guys, it's MBZ uh, and I'm on half term now so that's pretty cool and this is the first of my swag box battles against BM and it's a roulette. Um, so basically we had two roulettes because the first one was really gay and um, it was just a sweep basically until I sort of came back a bit at the end but um, you can just watch this while I'm sort of talking because I'm going to say some stuff um, and then I'll get into the second battle which was kind of better. So what I'm going to do is I for this whole half term I am going to uh, let people go on swag bucks and start collecting as much stuff as they can because I'm going to do a competition basically where the top three people who collect the most swag bucks um, within this week are going to win prizes um, from me Pokemon related stuff which I'll trade you and um, it's gonna be pretty cool so I'm gonna put up a video maybe after this which will detail all the details and stuff show you what prizes are going on um, and sort of explain a bit more but what you basically need to do is PM me if you're on Swagbox if you're not go and click in the link in the description I've put one there um, but if you have got Swagbox and you've been collecting um, what you need to do is you need to PM me with your Swagbox name what you're called on Swagbox and then I will be able to know who you are and I'll be able to count how many uh, bucks you're getting um, over the week and um, there are quite a few people who are already ahead by quite a lot so if you want to try and catch up with those guys then you better get um, onto the site and get playing basically not playing I mean collecting so yeah that's what I want you to do and make sure you PM me your swag bucks name uh, so I know which youtuber is which swag bucks person and I can relate how many points you're getting on the site so yup that video with prizes will go up and also the first prize will be a battle with me narrated on YouTube as well as having um, some sort of virtual prize that I will give away so this is basically the end of this roulette um, he try and kind of goes on a rampage at the end he gets a crit on this Gyarados which is epic I just that was brilliant because I, I just got so pissed off by being swept by a freaking coon that getting a Gyarados out there and um kind of uh, getting rid of it was kind of funny so I like that so he goes to an ape and he's actually a special based ape because he um, goes for a vacuum wave so I go and try and fire blast him and I nearly take him out actually because of the flash fire boost I got when I came in but because of the hail and poison he's just unable to live which was really really close but he doesn't quite kill me with the vacuum wave and fire blast gets a useless miss because he was going to die to the hail and poison anyway so it didn't actually make much of a difference and uh, now he's just going to sweep me with his last guy and get rid of my mama swine with his metagross uh, and meteor mash me basically so after that I decided you no know, that was pretty gay so I wanted to have another roulette so we decided to go for it and we went for this extra roulette here and uh, let's see how this one goes out so this time I get a lead off of Speed Demon, my Ninjask, and he gets a P2, uh, uh, which he switched to from his Starmie, and I'm going to set up here. I'm going to try and sword Dance and get a sub up, get some speed boost going. Unfortunately for me, his Porygon 2 is also getting the speed boost because of his um, Trace, or whatever you call it, which copies the ability. So I go for another sub, trying to get myself some more speed, and I'm thinking here that I can pretty much sweep. I'm thinking I've got Ganondorf in the wings who is basically going to try and clear up with his dynamic punch, speed, sword stance, boosted epicness. So here I go. I'm hoping I'm going to get into Ganondorf. I'm going to start sweeping and it's going to be epic as hell and Ganondorf's going to be made to look awesome. Uh, but he ice beams me. He doesn't do that much, but he gets the fucking freeze. <laughs> Where is the justice in that freeze? Why? I, I was doing everything else right. I mean, and and just up to that I, I got frozen but you know what I do not actually give a shit because if I hadn't been frozen this game would have been a lot lot duller and I would have swept so I'm actually glad I got frozen because um made out for a better game so he actually goes to his heatran and funnily enough he was faster so he was probably scarfed and he exploded and took me out so yeah that was kind of funny well as far as funny goes but um this wasn't funny not funny at all I didn't laugh at that he gave me choice specs. He gave my bronze on choice specs, and um, yeah, I I was not happy. So, Bronzong is now pretty much rendered useless. So I'm gonna save him for some explosion fodder later. And he goes from a Starmie to another Starmie, and I kind of got confused because they were both kind of the same, and that really confused me. 
So, yeah, I switched to Roserade, and um, this thing scarfed. Uh, he didn't know it at the time, but uh, it took him out with an energy ball, and that was fine for me. So he goes out to Umber's Umbreon, which I haven't used an Umbreon yet. I really want to use one, don't know why, but uh, never got around to using one. Go out to the Zong, and I go in fucking explode in his fucking face. Yes. Um, it actually nearly takes it out, which I was surprised at. I thought it would do about half, but it nearly takes the fucking thing out, and it nearly dies. So I finish it off with uh, an X Scissor from Speed Demon, and um, I'm going to try and maybe get myself um, up again with some swords dancing or stuff, but he goes to gay Porygon 2 again, which is the bane of my life. If that Machamp had not been frozen, then I would have got rid of it a long, long time ago, and wouldn't have had to deal with its gay ice beaming, speed boost tracing crap, which pisses me off. Anyway, that um, duck tries to um, beam my bird, and my bird turns into a top thing, which spins on its head. Um, don't you think Hitmontop would get kind of dizzy? Um, kind of thought that now. Weird. Why, why would it just stand on its head all the time? I once had a teacher who stood on his head. Yeah, that was funny. Anyway, I get the Toxic off, completely off subject, and go for a Stone Edge, and that does shit. And I'm thinking, what the crap? How does that do so little to this Porygon 2? It must be like some defensive beast of war of warcraft or something that i can't beat with its armor level 60 shit so i go for a mac punch which does a lot more than the freaking stone edge did and being paralyzed now i'm getting uh hit down with the t bolts which are you know hurting quite a lot i mean to be hurt by electricity that's kind of sucks to be honest i mean usually people would just die and then if you touch them you'd die as well because of the electricity flow and shit, but anyway, um, man, I'm really getting off subject today. Right, basically, the thing goes down, and, um, yeah, I get rid of the Porygon 2, so yes, he is down and out of God Mode. God Mode is over. Yes. So, he goes out to Coon, and I'm thinking, why the fuck? Why did he get Coon again? And this is just, like, unfair. This is really not funny anymore, and I'm just like, no. Porygon 2, I mean, that was an okay wall, I guess, but then you bring in God himself, and I'm thinking, why? Um, but to be honest, I did sweep with a Suicune in my Killer Nacho vid, so maybe I kind of deserve getting, playing two Suicunes in one time, but whatever. Anyway, I get the Toxic off on the thing, so that means I can um, bring in Speed Demon and uh, hopefully um, try and... Uh, set some stuff up, because I know he has rest, he told me that this Suicune does have rest, that it's not a life orb one like in his last last video, so um, I can see Poison's doing a hell of a lot this time, and I know he's going to want to rest up, so, oh, it was brilliant, when that happened, and he rested, and I subbed on that turn, that was genius, because it means I can get two sword stances in, that's right, two, and uh, I'm thinking now I can take down the rest of his team, sweep with Ninjask himself, and decimate everything in sight. So I go for an X scissor instead of a third sword stance, mainly because with the sub up it means I get a free hit on him. Uh, and he wakes up and I'm just really disappointed at how much that did. Um, considering Ninjak, Ninjask has relatively good attack, but I don't think I put that many EVs into attack, I'm not sure. Um, but two X scissors doesn't quite take him out, unfortunately for me, but I do have something else which can take the thing out. Um, which is my Roserade. So I bring that in, that's going to Energy Ball, and um, he only has Starmie left, and this thing is Scarfed. So I'm going to get a useless crit on the Starmie, but it is going to die anyway. So that was a great game there, BM, and um, that was really cool. So yeah, check the description for the Swag Bucks Majigger. And um, that was the first of my Swagbucks battles. I hope to play Wild Chase soon if I can get in contact with him, but he doesn't have MSN, so that's kind of gay. So Wild, maybe leave a comment or PM me or something, because um, I want to play you, so that's pretty cool. Um, so do all that stuff with Swagbucks. I will put up a video telling you what to do with stuff and prizes later. Peace.